everyone welcome to lily sky messages don't forget to click like let's get to it we i'm going to use my dragon blood here as my uh my pointy stick all right so let's look let's jump ahead to next month may 2022 okay we have the first quarter moon on the 8th and the 9th we have the full moon lunar eclipse on sunday the 15th at 9 13 p.m and i'm using pacific standard time it's a lunar it's a full moon lunar eclipse in scorpio we have the last quarter moon on the 22nd we have the new moon in gemini on the 30th at 4 30 a.m okay and we have here for this month april we're still in april the new moon solar eclipse is coming up on the 30th of april 2022 and it's in taurus earth sign taurus fixed signs taurus at 10 degrees 27 minutes pacific standard time is going to be at 1 27 p.m is going to be the high peak all right so let's get into the general tarot reading for may and we will be watching the videos okay make sure you click like for these uh upcoming videos i i i'm we'll, we'll, we'll just see what's coming up next all right so definitely click like and let's get into the tarot videos for the 12 signs all right guys yeah all right hello leo fire sign leo i love my leos oh my gosh all right leo happy may yes you're in the season of gemini and you guys you know if you don't then you don't but you get along great with leo with uh, gemini's okay i know i get along great with leo's i love leo's energy and it's just amazing like fire if you work well with your opposite element you can create some great things man love it love it love it so may you're we're, you're in spring okay this is a great time for you to even shine and communicate and you not only shine in your birth sign ooh, just like before i feel like a cusp whenever a card drops that was in the previous reading it's like definitely if you're born on the cusp of cancer and um and, Le and leo this is definitely a sign for you okay so what message do we have for leo boom this is falling out already leo you're working towards some great things what do we have for leo and i shuffle the heck out of these cards so the messages are what they are they're meant to be you know what is it for leo what is it for leo may 20 2022 may 2022 that is like so tricky to say may 2022 <sighs> may 2022 oh my gosh okay I feel like I want to move these over this way some more. Okay, let me get that. All right, what's the message for Leo? Amazing Leo, what's the message for Leo? May 2022. This is your message. I'm feeling this. Message, message for Leo. What is the message? Message, message, message for Leo. Like, you can't say I don't shuffle the heck out of these babies. Cut it in half. Line this up. Leo, fire sign Leo, you guys are off to a great start. Oh my gosh, we got the strength card. We got your card. Boom. I felt the devil card coming up. I really did, like, even in the last reading. So, this is good. It's like breaking away from things. Nothing. Don't allow anything to control you and just be your own master like I feel that so it's like there's a decision to make okay there's well this one wasn't in the last video was it the start no it was a four so it was a four of wands was in the, the video before the cancer video so the three of wands eight of pentacles the hierophant okay so the high priestess excuse me the high priestess major arcana ace of wands queen of swords nine of cups page of wands the death card oh I, di I didn't even notice that one there's a big change coming up the strength card the devil card we have the page of cups and we have the page of pentacles so yeah this is like some big changes happening here okay it's like making a decision where do you want to go 
and you know it's like you're trying to make a move and trying to make a decision but it's all about you preparing yourself for where you want to go okay and making sure that you have all the information that you need and not sharing all the information that you have and also making sure that you're taking step steps um steps by levels right but check this out it's like making a list of of one two three and four like what comes first you know it's like really planning it out whatever you want to do in may and i feel like you are projecting it also for the future and that you're going to be you're going to start like sketching out the whole year for some of you leos that didn't make plans yet you know you're a free spirit a free spirit a child spirit a fun spirit to be around fun energy and you really focus on this is the beauty of of leo it's like making sure that you're taking care of yourself you're you're living your best life and i love that and if you're a leo that needs to connect to this energy definitely may is the time spring is the time you know the 30th of may is a new moon definitely take advantage of that okay i know it's in between the the eclipses but definitely take um uh, advantage of that and especially after the the eclipse is, is over definitely take advantage of of the new moons and setting those intentions i feel like you're really going to take your power back in your hands even if you already feel you have your power in your own hands for those that don't feel that you're going to have your voice it's like you're waiting for your right timing to come back around okay for you to either apply to a new job or just get back in more of the spotlight right and really showing what you are about you know and i feel like a lot of you are going to be traveling this year and, and even into next year and really going on this new journey and really ending an old cycle of yourself you know like setting a new image of yourself and as i've been like studying like just reaffirming yourself and just like changing you know like disassociating from who you were before and just stepping into that new and here you have the strength card okay so even in your reading when <clears throat> a card pops up that is so powerful and and so connected to you that it's it's amazing and the strength card is you it's the lion you're in the season of the lion and the heavens and the stars and connect to like your mental power your spiritual power your emotional power connect to your courage and just overcome any obstacles or problems that that you may have had or that you can plan in in a proactive defense right and letting go of any kind of vices that you've been using from 2020 to 2021 you know we, if you kind of get in a, in a flow even though you're you might still try to be yourself we all kind of have to in some way we kind of bend not to break to like do the best that we can from 2020 2021 and now we're 2022 so it's like kind of shedding anything any habits that you may have had and let that die and just move forward into like being a charmer and being charmed right and connecting to like starting over i feel like pulling three more of like it's so powerful when you're that that sign in a, even in a general reading and you got your sign your your card here the strength card represents leo and terror right so you're gonna definitely be calling in manifesting attracting people that will shine with you and also recognize that they're a part of your story and journey and you're taking lead in center stage and you're creating this fun experience and as much fun and, and, and leadership you're taking they're benefiting from it too it's like i feel like for some of you it's a karmic experience it is a joyful karmic experience it is a life path of many souls that you've known before that you're reconnecting with and really enjoying and I feel like 2023 is just going to be great. And I feel like a year from May, from now into the next year, you're going to start a new chapter in May that's just going to be amazing for you and for others, okay? And you're going to meet a lot of new people. This is what you need to know is that you have the Five of Wands, the Sun card, which is so perfect. I feel it's so perfect with the Sun, with the Strength card. And the, the Judgment card, I feel like you are going to be breaking down walls of miscommunication bad teachings just conflict and you're going to bring in this new wisdom energy and you're just going to dismantle and just like break down old understandings and judgments 
the number you can work with is 11. 11 brings in a powerful message and I feel like whatever art you're going to create, whatever creativity, whatever you're doing in your own personal time, it's, it's going to be just so impactful to others. It's going to bring about that spiritual awakening. And I'm not surprised that you got the 11 with these three cards, you know, with the five of wands, with the sun card and with the judgment card. There's no playing around here. You're going to really tap into your awareness and your intuition. Okay. And I feel like this 11 energy is going to benefit you, but it's, all, it's also going to benefit others. And what also came in is um, reinventing, re reincarnating is what came first, actually. Reincarnating something from the past that's old and showing it in the present. And it's going to be like a journey lesson, right? And that Mars is coming in saying that you can... Um, make your point heard in a gentle beautiful way that's gonna shift maybe you've done it before and it was more in your face graphic right but now it's gonna be gentle and soft and dreamy I feel like it's gonna have like a Pisces energy I think you can vibe off of Pisces from the solar eclipse and find a message in there and a story right and then now you have Scorpio and Scorpio you're gonna really profit from this so Scorpio knows how to profit and how to um I feel like Leo's if you've been through like a hard childhood where you had to do like a lot of healing Scorpio can understand that because they had to learn and grow at an early age right and teach themselves and really fend for themselves and learn so they know how to be creative they know how to be resourceful and how to make money and how to survive and I feel like with Scorpio you can tap into people's trauma and pain and bond with them that way but also heal in that way and encourage them to be stronger and, and better. Even though they are a water sign, they're very fiery and they're ruled by Mars and they're ruled by, um, I believe, yeah, Pluto, right? But they're really ruled by Mars, that fighter energy. So you can really learn from a Scorpio that, that connective energy through pain and then rebirth a new self, a new life and find that strength, okay? Yeah, it's like just letting go of your own judgment, but also others learning and letting go of their own judgment. And I feel like May is opening up this take it by your hand kind of ace of wands energy and moving it forward. And you are the charmer. You know, I feel like the high priestess, you know, is going to be there for you. Not only your strength card is actually... Um, going to be there for you. I really, I'm really thinking about the place and I feel your words are going to be powerful. The queen of swords. I feel like your words, I feel like these cards are popping out and then other cards might pop out for you, but I really feel like this is the energy of May of healing, of, um, connecting with someone, even someone from your past in an artistic way of creation. And it's going to bring just like another avenue of like creativity and learning and I feel like, especially if you're a Leo in the second half of your life, you're going to create so much fun that it makes up for the first half of your life. And if you're a Leo, that's just been always having fun and just been blessed with so much fun and creativity that the next seven to 10 years is going to be like a boom of like overjoy and happiness because like that's what the world is going to start vibrating on and really want to create. All right, Leos, so I hope you guys enjoy this reading. Click like, and I will see you in the next video. Yes. Peace.